Hello, chat. Hello, community. Well, in this food review, I actually went to a restaurant. It, it was an all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet called Kirin, which is on Flamingo Road here in Las Vegas. Uh, the cost, it's lunchtime, and the cost of the all-you-can-eat buffet was $8.99. I guess they raised the prices. They keep raising the prices, I guess, because of I don't know, the economy. Joe Biden's America. So um, first I'm going to take you through a sweep through of this restaurant of some of their buffet items that they have at lunch time. salad area here, spinach, lettuce. Oh, here, here's, you got wasabi here. You get that soy sauce, it's chili sauce, so I guess that's a cocktail sauce. I didn't even see this. You're looking for that. You got your dessert items. Uh, oh, they got mussels here. Muscles. They get stuck in my teeth, so let's just do a tour, a quick tour. Take it back in slow motion. More items over here. We got rice. As you can see, there's white rice. That's fried rice. There's chow mein over there. Um, I think that's what they call, I'm not sure what that's called, but um, here's the other table. They had lack of uh, selection in their lunch items. I looked at their menu, and it seems, seems like they had more, like, fucking dinner items than they did lunch items. Like, I didn't say to see the same shit. They had, like, eight different chickens, furthermore. <laughs> like, spicy chicken orange chicken, and it all looked pretty brutal. I didn't really want to partake in any of them. And they had a bunch of dessert items as well. Chicken wings, I did partake in their chicken wings. I mean, I really was not impressed with their food selection that they had here. Pizza, yeah. Sticky rice. Mm. Yeah, not impressed at all with this establishment. Oh, those little chicken tenders and their sushi, which I was not impressed with at all. Not impressed at all with their sushi. Didn't have chopsticks. I didn't ask for any. Yeah, so I was there for lunch, like I just said in the narration and at the intro. I seen about eight or nine different chicken items one beef item which was beef and broccoli and then there was a uh, pork chops one pork item to my knowledge and the seafood items was lacking uh, maybe when I looked at the Yelp menu when I seen clams and crab legs and all these different seafood items I would think they would have it for lunch I guess the dinner menu is different uh, like I said, I was not really impressed with the food selection. The sushi looked like shit. They didn't have any salmon sushi or spicy tuna. They just had imitation crab and just just the, the bad sushi, the, the shit sushi. Oh, well. Let's go back. Uh, here's when I'm eating some of the food. Oh, that's wings. Chicken wings. That's pork chops. And that's shrimp. So that's my first course here at this buffet. And we're gonna indulge. Oh, we got the sushi. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Here's the sushi I got. So it was definitely not the selection of sushi that I seen on their Yelp menu. And the Yelp menu had so much more sushi, so much more of a selection salmon, tuna, like all types. This was a huge disappointment. Yeah, get some of that mussels here. Right in the mussels. Yeah, I don't want to load up. I want to try everything here for a real food review. You. And you're not, you're not allowed to waste food. There'll be an additional charge. I 
this is like seafood seafood delight they call it but I don't like it looks like it's imitation crab oops I got my finger in the way sorry about that chat and they, like I said I just had some of the sushi here's the sushi stuff here uh, and they rotate the food quite often they now we got one more seafood that's that's a soup that's a soup bowls They just got new French, they got French fries they just put out. Yeah, get some French fries. I heard that French fries are good here. Mm. So I have a new French fry and I like these here. But we're going to get soy sauce. I wonder where you get the bowls for the... Uh, for like the sushi, like it should be, it should have a little bowl here, little bowls somewhere. You have little bowls? Okay, thank you. So they do have little bowls here. Right here, I didn't realize it. This is my first time here. Yeah, so I found the beef. They only have one beef item. They have like eight chicken items. They're big on chicken here. Like every type of chicken imagine. Orange chicken, spicy chicken. This is their beef and broccoli. I don't like broccoli, so we'll try their beef now. It's okay. Some type of pasta salad. Really, this place is. Will I come here ever again? All right, so uh, here I am. In case you're wondering where I'm at, um, it's raining out now. Place, and there was some other YouTuber who did a uh, review, and he, he said, oh, it's not bad, for, you know. In conclusion, to sum up my review of Kirin, uh, all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet, it cost $8.99, a little pricey for the quality of food. It's a lower-end type of Chinese buffet, probably one of the cheapest buffets you can get in Las Vegas, Chinese buffet that is. Uh, the they lack items. Yeah, sure. They had nine different chicken items one beef item and uh, one pork I, I, I Item which was the uh, I don't know it was pork chops, which was okay The chicken was okay the french fry the french fries were the highlight, but I couldn't find fucking ketchup I didn't know where everything what am I supposed to ask for every little where's the ketchup? You would think you have that ketchup right by the where the french fries are I didn't want to eat the pizza because the pizza was sitting out all right, on a scale, let's just do the scale. I just want to end this review. On a scale of one to five, I give this place a one. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you when I see you. Uh -oh.